वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील अबाउट द ओवर डोमिनेंस हाइपोथेसिस ऑफ एट्रोसिस एज यू नो दैट इट वॉज इंडिपेंडेंटली प्रपोज बाय ईस्ट एंड शल in the year 1908 and later expanded by hull in 1945 and many more uh workers have supported this over dominance hypothesis so if you see the model if you see the model of uh, this hypothesis uh model is a uh, capital a small a the heterozygous is always superior to both the homozygotes of course in dominance case you have seen that heterozygote is equivalent to the dominant homozygote which is superior to रिसेसिव होमोजाइगोट बट हियर द हेट्रोजाइगोट इज सुपीरियर टू बोथ द होमोजाइगोट दिस इज द केस ऑफ ओवर डोमिनेस हाइपोथेसिस मीन्स दिस सेज दैट इफ यू आर गेटिंग हेट्रोसिस यू आर गेटिंग हेट्रोसिस बिकॉज ऑफ हेट्रोजाइगोस्टी which is superior to dominant dominant homozygote as well as recessive homozygote so let us see it states that heterozygosity is the cause of heterosis if you need heterosis for particular trait or for many traits you have to have heterozygous condition then only you will be getting heterosis has heterozygosity that is capital a small a at one or more loci is superior to either of the homozygotes whether capital a or small or capital a a or small a a similarly the cause of inbreeding depression if you say that the heterosis and inbreeding depression both are the reverse so how this is happening in if you are accepting this over dominance model how you are both getting inbreeding depression of course why because in inbreeding what you are doing inbreeding or selfing and inbreeding or selfing is increasing the homozygosity whether capital a capital a whether small a small a you are going to get because of the selfing and inbreeding homozygosity is increasing in every generation of selfing or inbreeding so once homozygosity is increasing because of the inbreeding or selfing it means heterozygosity is reducing so since the heterozygosity is the cause of heterosis as per this model as per this hypothesis so there will be inbreeding depression in progeny is because of inbreeding you are getting their increased level of homozygosity and because of that there is depression in the progeny so this is accepted how this heterosis is coming because of over dominance and how this inbreeding is coming because of over dominance it is clear so now see the cause of heterosis why this heterozygosity is giving the better performance is giving the heterosis why why should you accept it because you see you are getting the combination of alleles in heterozygous condition say for example you are having if if you are having the parent capital a capital a another parent is small a small a capital a capital is giving something else product is small a small a is giving something different product if both are coming together in f1 capital a small a the progeny is having capital a small a 
so capital a capital a is giving some product product and small a small is giving some product both are giving the combination of product which is superior to both the homozygotes this is the reason of heterosis because of over dominance hypothesis so here i have uh, described a combination of diverse effects of capital a and a small a in hybrid f1 hybrid tend to be more favorable than the single effect produced by either of homozygote capital a or capital a or small a so this is the cause of heterosis because of the over dominance hypothesis so if you see the examples you are not getting many more examples so confidently you cannot say that uh, over dominance is uh, applicable to all cases of heterosis because uh, uh, you are not getting any example of heterosis in polygenic traits tra traits because of this over dominance so if you see the examples we, let let us uh, uh, have one or two examples in may if you see in maize in case of maize there is a gene identified there is uh, <coughs> named as ma small ma which affects the maturity of the plant the heterozygote capital ma small ma when it is coming in heterozygous condition capital ma small ma is more vigorous and late in anthesis as well as mature if it is in heterozygous condition it is <coughs> more vigorous and late in anthesis and as well as maturity as compared to its both the homozygotes capital ma capital ma or small ma small ma so this is being put as one of the examples of over dominance hypothesis of heterosis the another you can see in barley the gustafson has reported two chlorophyll mutants that produce larger seed size as well as more number of seeds both together uh in heterozygous state then do their normal homozygotes so this is the case the example in barley the heterozygotes are the mutant in heterozygous condition are superior than both the homozygotes since you are not getting many example and you are not even getting uh the case in polygenic traits you can say so you see the objection of over dominance hypothesis there are not many clear cut cases where the heterozygote is superior to the two homozygotes in fact over dominance has not been observed in any polygenic trait as i have discussed earlier this has been the biggest objection to this to the general acceptance of this over dominance hypothesis of course still we are not denying that over dominance is not occurring if 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 this is the case of heterosis this will be the wonderful case you can you can expect more and more better performance in hybrids but this is not the true case in many of the hybrids you are getting so of course in some of the traits in some of the cases you are observing this over dominance so you cannot rule out it as per this objection that it is not happening in the nature so this is all about over dominance hypothesis i will be coming next to next hypothesis thanking you very much